morning YouTube. It's cold out here this morning. Uh, we got a little job to do. We got a new piece of equipment we're going to use to do it with. We got a 12 foot bat wing, John Deere. It is a E12. E12. We're going to try it out today. Hopefully, everything goes good. Got it all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, it's locked right now. Got this lock here. You got these pins that we got to take out. And that's locks the wings for transport. So we got to cut these. I got one blue, one green. So everything on these bush hogs is hydraulic up and gravity down. I read the manual last night. There, I couldn't find anything in the manual as far as how to plumb the hydraulics. But, so I hadn't tried it yet. I'm gonna play with it this morning. I think it's plumbed the way I want it. Tell you what, I looked at these for a long time. I looked at every brand name. Phone's ringing. It's a telemarketer. Ignore that. Uh, the John Deere, you know, you've got this extra protection here. You know, when it thro throws a rocket, maybe it'll hit this before it hits this, keep from denting up. This is, uh, well, We'll look at it more, you know. You got extra protection here. That's thick, right? Look how thick it is. You know. And that's, you know. This side's going to stay looking pretty, hopefully. You know, and this is going to take the beating. Big old thick stump jumper plate. Man, that thing, look how big that thing is. You know, this thing, that thing is huge. <laughs> Uh, look here that ain't like I said I hadn't done anything to this thing except bring it home so we're huh okay uh, we're gonna go all through it before we get I doubt we get much bush hogging done today but the, the plan is to load this thing up take it to the field where I'm gonna be using it at least attempt to get started. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow will be a bush hogging day for sure. So, been looking over it. I mean, they kept it for a few days after it come in. You know, they have to put it together. They have to put the wheels on them and different things. And uh, looks like they've greased all the zerks. So, it's supposedly ready to go. Get grease here. So I might put some on that. Uh, everything appears to be greased and ready to go to the field, other than just fine tuning some adjustments. So here's grease. Grease. So we're just about ready to go. We got to check these hydraulic. All right, now, so it'll go up, and it'll go down, and of course everything's locked right now, so, all right, I'm going to raise it all the way up, and take the pins out, move the stop, and see if it'll fold all the way down. Let's try that. We got room in the truck. Yep.
much that way. So far, I like it. So far. I've never owned any of the competitor brands. Not in a not in a bat wing style bush hog, so I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to. Other than just what I went and looked at, you know, on the on the dealer's lots and stuff. I just I've looked at all of them, been looking at them for a long time. This one just hit all the marks, you know, it hit the price point. It hit the you can look it up online, look at the spec sheet, look at the how thick the metal and stuff is. It's a tough built bush hog, you know, they consider it the E series. And some of the You know, you can get an M and a, or an R, but not in a 12 foot. You know, you have to, you have to go up to uh, 15. two holes here. I like that. That works out good. You got somewhere to put your pin so you don't lose it. You just move it over to this hole here. And that's got your wings unlocked. And that's the, this is the one you fold that back for you up and down right there leave it in that position and yeah these things is these things ain't gonna make it I didn't figure they would now we've got our safety chains that still they're still hanging on them here so I gotta do something with those figure before we take off we'll check a few more things now we've got supposedly we got dipsticks in the gearboxes. I don't know if there's grease or gear oil in here. I believe that's the color I was supposed to be in there. Well, that's got a better looking color to it like in front too might have some moisture in them uh, I believe that may be an oil though I don't believe that's a grease I believe that may be an oil that's just yellow looking <laughs> all right took them loose out the bag right here here that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run them under here i'm gonna hook them together there we go let's try it with two big ones that would be all the way down with two big ones on there two of the big stoppers well let's fire it up see what happens
uh, this little barn lot here. I mowed it last year with my six foot bush hog. And you know, it didn't do, it. you know, it just doesn't do that good of a job, especially like on these hills. You know, that flex wing mower just follows the contour of the land and you know, it just, man, it does a pretty job. It looks like you mowed this with a lawn mower, you know. Our goal today was get this thing set up and get it mowing grass. And we've done pretty good so far. Maybe I'll get into some thicker stuff tomorrow, make a little bit, make some more videos, maybe, maybe a little bit better video, you know, so. All right, well, I guess this is going to wrap up our first video of the E12 bush hog. So, with the 5075E, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more.